Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So this video is the one you guys have been asking me for for ages and I finally grabbed a boyfriend and we filmed it. So these workouts are all based in my gym but you can do them in a playground or you can grab the equipment as I kind of go through it with you. So this is one of my favourites, the hanging leg raise which you guys could do in the gym. You could also buy a little pull up bar or you could do it in a playground. Effectively you're bringing your knees up into your chest and moving your bum up with it. If you're amazing at this you can take your legs out straight. I'm not so you can have a little laugh. If you fall down, no worries, get back up. Generally, grip is one of the hardest things with this exercise. So that was about 15 reps. We are going to do this whole circuit three or four times. Now we're moving on to V-ups. Now I'm doing it on a bench, but if you don't have a bench, no worries at all. You can do it on the floor. The bench just means your legs are already elevated, which makes it a little bit harder. If you can't do a V-up, then you can do a V-sit, which is where you literally just hold it, and I'd recommend 30 seconds would be fantastic. Again, we're going to do 15 reps here, and as you take your legs out, breathe. You also want to look down and really think of your lower abs during this exercise. Now we're just going to make it a little bit harder by adding a weighted dumbbell in between your toes. This is a 5 kilo dumbbell, but I would suggest starting light and getting used to it. You don't want to hurt your back. Also make sure that your toes are tightly put together. I don't want any injuries or broken toes. Again, remember to breathe, move as much as you possibly can, and try not to fall back onto yourself because that would really hurt if I fell into that deadlift bar. So we are now going to move on to the final exercise, which again is going to use the pull-up bar, or if you want to, you can use the playground. Um, we're going to jump on up, and I want you to think of the muffin top at this point. You're basically lifting your legs to the side and crunching in to do a side crunch. It's a little bit more awkward, so you might need to practice it before you do it, but don't give up, and again, hold on tight. Remember, you need to do 15 on each side. Don't give yourself a wonky body. Now, you could do this whole routine, do one exercise after another, or you could split them up and you could just do each exercise three or four times. I'd do them all together because it leaves you having less rest time and makes it a little bit more interesting. Next we're moving on to the cable area. If you guys have one of these, and I thoroughly suggest you guys get on it because they are amazing, but if you don't, you can just hold a weight in your hand and do exactly the same. Now, I see this exercise done a lot of times. The main reason that it doesn't work is because you're not connecting with your body. So I need you to really concentrate on your stomach. We're not pulling the weight up with our shoulder or our hand, you're pulling up with your abs. So you wanna breathe out every time you bring it up. You'll feel a little bit constipated and a little bit silly, but trust me, if you feel your tummy going really solid all the way down, you will be working your abs. If you notice that your shoulder is moving higher and lower, then you're probably feeling it with your shoulder. So again, you can do it with a plate, or you can do it with a dumbbell or a kettlebell, it doesn't really matter, but this will work really, really well on toning your side obliques and improving your core cheeky little bum shot from the boyfriend. I've put my feet hip width apart so you can do the same. And in between, I'm then gonna do leg raises. I'm holding on to that because um, I tend to fall over a lot. We're gonna do 15 reps of this. If it's too easy, you can add a weight, but remember you need to have straight legs, so no bending, and bring your legs down as low as you can. And remember, breathe out as your legs go down. Again, I would do these two exercises together. Give yourself a little rest in between if you need it. If not, just keep going and do it three or four times. Next up, it's TRX bands. If you don't have one of these, buy them. Or if you can't afford it, get yourself a resistance band or even one of the giant inflatable balls as you can pretty much do the same. The first thing that we're gonna do is atomic push-ups. No worries, there's no push-upping in here. We're gonna do 20 or more reps. I want you guys to work until you really feel that burn. So you wanna bring your knees and your feet while they're together all the way in as if they could touch your elbows or your chest. Do it slowly, so count one, two, one, two, not too fast, and keep yourself in a very comfortable plank position. You should feel a little shake. Next, when you've got to the point you can't do any more, I want you to bring your knees down and just gently stretch it back to protect your back. We're now gonna move on to hill climbers, which is where your knees go in and out. Alternately, you've done this on the floor with the boss you ball before, and we're gonna do 40 reps here because this is slightly easier. Again, make sure your butt doesn't drop and your arms stay nice and strong. Now, we're moving on to the final exercise on TRX bands. This is like a yoga pose and it's called the pike. Imagine you are in yoga and you're bringing your butt to the sky. You'll feel like you've got nothing to give from your lower abs, but that is where we're pulling and keep your feet together. It takes a little while to get used to it, but it's an incredible exercise. And finally, we're moving on to the bossy ball. So turn it over, guys, because I want you guys to put your hands flat on it. This is all about stability, which is why it works your core and is very similar to the TRX bands. 
We're going to do 30 reps here because you're doing it quite quickly. And on this one, my legs are going up and across as if I'm twisting. I want your knees to reach your elbows and if they can't, push yourself just slightly forward over your body. We're then going to change, so stretch it out, <laughs> and then we are going to go back in and I want you to now take your legs on the outside. So imagine that really sexy V that guys get. Imagine you're giving yourself exactly the same. So you're taking your knees all the way out. Remember to breathe, enjoy it, and I hope you guys love this. So please tag me in all of your ab pictures. It's time to get some abs. See you guys next week. Bye.